Hey there. I want to talk about five ways that you can grow your email list really fast. Before I go over the five ways, make sure you have a place to collect your emails. You can't just go out there and say, I'm going to collect all these emails and then not have a place to, to collect them. And here's another tip. Don't collect thousands and thousands of emails and never do anything with them. I remember I was in a Facebook group once and we were talking about email marketing and somebody in there said, well, I have like 6,000 emails and I've never used them. I'm going to put a link below for an autoresponder and it, check it out, see what it's like, but make sure you learn how to use the autoresponder and you send emails out. You send a sequence of emails out. I actually have a free email course. I will go ahead and put that down there below for you and you can look at it and kind of see how it works and then make a decision. Get an autoresponder and make sure you send the emails out. Don't just collect the emails. And of course you're going to collect emails lots of different ways. I, I, I make videos all the time about how to do that. And today we're going to show you five different ways. One, just reach out one-to-one. -one. If you're just starting out, you know, maybe you can ask some people that you know are in network marketing or in, um, there's a lot of your friends that are in like Young Living, they're doing the um, oils and things like that, or they're in Beachbody. Ask them, say, hey, I'm starting an email list. They're gonna understand that you're trying to get a list and just ask. Um, you know, I wouldn't just ask every Tom, Dick, and Harry that you know, but I would ask people that might be interested and they understand business and they wanna help each other. Because people in business, especially online, want to help each other it doesn't mean you have to buy from each other but you can support each other and help them to build their business and, and maybe share you know with other friends what they're doing maybe you're selling oils and your friends in Beachbody and you happen to meet somebody that wants to exercise you can recommend them to your friend and your friend can recommend people to you for the oils. so it, it's a it works both ways number two you can add a link to your website or to your opt-in page or something like that in your normal email signature. And I don't mean your business signature, you're already sending well that out if you have an email list, um, but just your normal everyday personal email, you can have a little link below sending people to sign up for your email list. Um, and if you have a link, um, actually number three, is you can have a sign up bar across your website and that's where you could be sending them in your email list so it's kind of two for one there um, so personal list on your personal signature put that link and say here go to my website they'll go to your website and then they'll see the sign up right there across the bar across the top of your web page and it's right there as soon as they get there you can also own content now this in my opinion is one of the most important things you can do YouTube or Pinterest when you put content out on YouTube or Pinterest it stays there if you put content out on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook those are all more social media type platforms your information disappears now people are very very successful doing that I'm not saying not to do that but if you're trying to collect emails and you're making a lot of content and you really want it to get out then use Pinterest and YouTube because it stays and people can search for it I have emails that I've made maybe 10 months ago I've, I've almost been doing this for a year not quite yet but I have emails or videos that I made a long time ago and they're still being searched they're still popping up in the search re results in the analytics so it's so cool to watch because you know in the beginning you'll see 20 or 40 views and then all of a sudden you know six seven months later you'll see 500 or a thousand and I know people are getting a million but, but I'm not there yet <laughs> I'm new still all right and another one is um, solo ads you can buy solo ads um, you can how do you find a place to do that you're thinking oh people are saying not to buy ads I think that in the beginning it's a good idea because if you're only sending out emails to about 50 people that you got organically which is great sometimes it can be discouraging but if you spend maybe fifty dollars you can get a hundred new email addresses you can buy them and maybe out of that hundred fifty of them will opt in which is a good opt-in rate and then maybe you'll get a couple of sales but it helps to build up your email list and it helps you feel like you're at least reaching more people I know um, a lot of people say just do it until you get to about two thousand and then your your list will just organically start to grow from there and really it's about getting out onto the, these different ways don't just 
focus on one way to collect emails every time you go to build a new system think to yourself how can I collect emails from doing this I know especially if you're an affiliate marketer your first thought is oh my gosh I want to hurry up and, and send these links out and I've done that before without even thinking and I'll send the link and I forget oh wait a minute I should have made a bridge page and I should have collected an email but in the beginning you're so excited you want to get those links out it's a lot to remember so I'm gonna give you that tip right now every time you do something no matter what you do Instagram you know if you go on Facebook or Pinterest think to yourself how can I use this to collect some emails and build up that email list because your email list is your list of potential customers um, you go to if you go to any store retail store and you go up to that register and you buy your product what do they ask you for would you like to be on our email list and I know in the beginning when I knew nothing about email lists I'd say sure and um, now I know what they're doing and of course they bombarded my email <laughs> and I didn't know but now you know you can you can you know collect those emails like they are and and they're sending out coupons and offers and things like that you're using your email list to get to know people so that they can like you and trust you and then buy from you and that's that's who we buy from um, think about yourself when you go to buy a car you're gonna buy from that person that practically ignores you or from the person that came out to greet you and spend some time trying to get to know you even though they they may even have known within five minutes that you're not gonna buy a car we my husband and I went out actually about two months ago to buy he needed to buy a new truck and I remember we stopped at this one place well first two places we stopped at they um, pretty much ignored us we were out in the parking lot nobody even came out and I said I'm not going in and knocking on the door there was nobody around and I thought if they want to sell they can come out well we went to the third place and this young man came out and talked to us and we told him what we wanted and they didn't even have it on the lot he spent time getting our name getting our phone number making sure he knew what we wanted I mean I told my husband if that kid finds a car we're gonna buy it from him because he spent time even though he could have just said oh we don't have anything sorry about your luck so pay people like that they like it when you pay attention to them they like it when you care because really the truth is most of the time people don't care and it's the little things in life like that that will get you your sale um, just care about people care about what they want all right check out the videos that I have above here um, at the end and they will help you with your journey on collecting emails and please subscribe I really appreciate you watching my videos I put them out six days a week not on Sunday and I hope you can uh, hope you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye